The map we showed at the end of the previous videos looked a bit weird. The reason for this is because we've tried to map latitude and longitude, which are coordinates on a globe, onto a flat plane, which is impossible to do perfectly. This video will discuss what we do about the fact that the Earth is not flat. A map projection is a transformation of latitude and longitude from a globe to a plane. All projections distort the globe in some way, so generally the best choice will depend on the application. While we can't map exactly from the globe to the plane, we can preserve some properties. For example, the famous Mercator projection shown here represents any course of constant bearing as a straight line. Bearing refers to the compass direction a craft has to be steered, so you can see how this property makes Mercator an ideal projection for navigation, but not so much for representing data. The Mercator projection, for example, greatly exaggerates some areas and reduces others. It portrays Greenland as bigger than Australia and similar in size to Africa, it's actually around half as large as Australia and much, much smaller than Africa. Other examples are that it shows Alaska and Brazil as similar in size when Brazil is about five times bigger, and Antarctica appears to be larger than Africa, Eurasia, and North America combined when it's roughly the size of Australia. As a remedy to these issues, many different map projections exist, some of which preserve areas. A famously controversial one, known as the Gold Peters projection, is shown here. This is a projection of the globe which preserves area of all the land masses. Though Peters did not discover this projection, his name is associated with it because of his claim that the Mercator projection represented what he called cartographic imperialism, and during the 70s there was a fairly successful campaign to make this the main map used in schools, so you might have seen it before. In my opinion, it's kind of ugly, and there are many better examples of area-preserving maps. Peters' projection is an equal area projection. These projections show areas accurately, but distort shapes. Here's another one, the so-called Albers projection. Here, instead of projecting onto a rectangle, the globe is first projected onto a cone, and then the cone is unwrapped. There are also compromise projections, which try to balance requirements of shape and area. For example, the Robinson projection shown here is one of my favourites. Fortunately, Python makes working with map projections easy. Cartopy is a Python library which has a lot of built-in geographic data and allows us to apply coordinate transformations before plotting with Matplotlib. We saw the projection argument to Matplotlib in a previous video for making polar plots and 3D plots. Here we passed the name of a type of projection called Plate Carré. We then used the Cartopy function Coastlines to make the world map appear. This is the result, which looks quite nice. Note the sizes of Greenland and Africa in particular. If you're using polygons you got from somewhere else, things can get tricky. For example, try downloading this data from the UK government website and having a look at it. This is one of the polygons. These coordinates are clearly not latitude and longitude, which are angles ranging between minus 180 and plus 180. For the UK, the British National Mapping Agency, the Ordnance Survey, actually use a slightly different reference system called British National Grid. A lot of UK data, for example weather data provided by the UK Met Office, will be in this coordinate system. Lots of other countries have their own coordinate systems for their own national data. There are historical reasons, but it also makes sense. Countries want to use a map projection that doesn't distort their borders, and they don't really care what happens outside. So, converting British national grid coordinates to latitude and longitude is tricky, but Python comes to the rescue once again. For GPS coordinates, the standard reference system is known as WGS1984, also EPSG4326. So EPSG stands for European Petroleum Survey Group, but this has nothing in particular to do with drilling for oil. Rather, there's something called the EPSG Registry, which is a database of all the coordinate systems that people have invented. The coordinate origin of EPSG4326 is meant to be located at the Earth's center, and is supposed to have an uncertainty of less than 2 centimeters. The meridian of zero longitude is at 102 meters east of the Greenwich meridian at the latitude of the Royal Observatory. So these are the usual coordinates, latitude and longitude, that you've probably seen before. So here is some code to convert a shapefile in British National Grid to regular GPS coordinates. We used a PyProj library to define a projection from BNG coordinates to GPS coordinates. This library is going to do all the complicated spherical trigonometry for us. EPSG27700 is the number for British National Grid coordinates in this registry. You can just look up these numbers. This line of code applies the transformation. We use the shapely transform function, which accepts a PyProj object and acts on the polygon constructed from the shapefile. This is the result. A newer type of map projection is called a cartogram. This distorts the areas or the distances on a map so they're equal to some other target values. The example shown here is probably the most famous. In it, every country has an area proportional to its population. So China and India are now huge, while Russia, though geographically huge, has a much smaller population and is drastically squashed. Note that Antarctica is on this map. Since Antarctica has a population of about 12, some artistic license is also applied. Cartograms require a fair amount of computation and specialised libraries. I'm not really aware of a solid Python library for making them, however you can find implementations out there, and you can also have a look at worldmapper.org for some other examples. Here's an example of CO2 emissions per capita for different countries. You can see the US, Western Europe and China dominate, while Africa and South America hardly contribute at all. Generally, on a world scale, cartograms look very similar. Either India or China are disproportionately huge because of their large populations, or the US and Europe are big because of their disproportionate wealth. Cartograms are not my favourite way to show data, but sometimes they can be illuminating, and they're an interesting way to use map projections.